Hey guys, it's ShadowGuard here with part two of my Vita review. Now in part one, I kind of screwed something up. I said that you could not customize the backgrounds for the Vita, and I figured out after I finished that video that you can, and I'm going to show you right now how to do that. You can see that I've already customized that uh, wallpaper, but what you're going to do is you're going to go into your photo application, you're going to see this scrapbook, and you're going to click on that. It'll have all the photos. And you can download photos from your computer, which is what I've done. I'll go ahead and hit all. I only have a couple photos. But I can click a photo like this. And to get it as my screensaver, I'll just tap this button right here. Right there. It'll bring this up. I'll click use a start screen it loads and there you are now that's my start screen and then to get these backgrounds you're going to hold down and get it in this edit mode this little plus button right there that adds a page if I add that see now I have a new a new page and if I want to put a wallpaper on it I'll go over here I can choose any of these different colors or I can hit here which will bring me to photos choose a photo loads there's your photo alright and that's how you get these different backgrounds so sorry about that but now that that's out of the way let's look at the friends and the overall connectivity of the device <clears throat> so you're going to sign in and you'll have to have your account linked or have an account PlayStation if you want to connect and do things on your PS3 like with your editing but goes over here I can see all my friends now I can see what my game my friends are playing like this friend right here is playing Modern Warfare 3 but I can't see I can't see if they're playing um, survival or multiplayer or single player or whatever. I can't see that. And then if I want to send a message to my friend, say I'll send a message to this friend, I can tap on him. It'll load all this up, which basically is the profile page. Shows all of his trophies, shared play history, the about me stuff, this near, which you can use and there's this bubble up here. I don't know what happened there's this bubble right here hit that this will start um, the messenger and the messenger is how you send messages to people and I'll go ahead and connect continue to connect there we are so now my friends up there you can see his name then down here is this little bar click that now I've got a full keyboard which is nice I like how you have this full keyboard this time instead of that stupid uh, you know cell phone like or phone like tap or button system I hated that so I'll just send him a message like that sorry if that's not close enough then I can click send it'll send the message and it does send messages a little slower and so now I've sent him a message I can go over here and I can view all the people that I've exchanged messages with either via the PS3 or the Vita either way and then so that basically covers messaging and friends you can view play history and all that stuff as well as well as your own profile and edit your stuff. Now let's go into trophies real quick and get a load of this. And now this does have to connect, but that's only if you want to view your um, PS3 trophies. I could hit this button over here and it would view just the Vita trophies that I have. With this PlayStation Network icon, I can view all the trophies I have, including the Vita. See right here, I have Welcome Park and Golden Abyss, and then right under it, 
I have Uncharted 2, Mortal Kombat, Little Big Planet, and so on and so on. Um, so, yeah, and also, you can see the little icon that says PS3. Right up there, it says PS3. Well, the ones at the top, the Golden Abyss and the Welcome Park, say PS Vita. So that's how you tell if that's a Vita game or a PS3 game. So that's neat. And you can compare trophies with this button up here. And tap on this. It helps you refresh your trophies or sort them. And then finally, you can click your little icon up there. And this will bring you to your profile page where you can edit your profile. I don't know if you can do the comment. That's another thing. You can't view the comment like you can on the PS3 with this. I can also see the number of friends I have and play history with my friends. And I'll just go ahead and show you. I can just tap on that and that brings me to the trophies that I have exclusively on my Vita. Hit Golden Abyss. You can see all the different trophies. And Golden Abyss is very good, by the way. But yeah, uh, so get out of that, and that's pretty much it for the connectivity. There is the remote play option, but that could be a segment all on its own. And the remote play, if you've ever used remote play with the PSP, it's the same thing, exact same. Now, I haven't tried any PS1 games because I don't have any, but... I've heard that you can play those on the Vita. I know as of now you can't play any PS3 games. And I'm assuming no PS2 games, but my PS I have a PSP or PS3 Slim, so I can't play PS2 games, but I'm assuming that even on the regular or the original PS3 you can't play PS2 games. Content manager, which I can click real quick. Oh, looks like I just finished downloading my demo. Um, I don't know how that long that's going to take. Content Manager is when you want to transfer files via the... Here it is. Um, transfer files through either the PC or the PS3. I can't connect right now, but if you connect to the PS3, which is basically the same as Remote Play, connect in the same way, Although you do, well, you can use a USB cable, but basically what you'll do with that is you can copy files from your Vita, your PS3, or vice versa. Uh, for a quick example, I have down here Pursuit Force, which I got from that free PSP games. For some reason, it won't let me download Mod Nation Racers. I don't know why. If anybody knows how to fix that, help me. Please you know, send me a comment or something. But anyway... So I have Pursuit Force right here that I downloaded via the PS3. So that's cool. I got my demo down there. And yeah, that wraps up this segment. <clears throat> Next time I'll take a look at the PS Store. And then after that we'll move into the video, the settings. More in-depth on the settings at least. And then maybe finally get into Uncharted. But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and until my next review, I'm out.